Hallelujah. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hello. I am here to give you a testimony how a disease, the coronavirus was healed in the year of 2015 through a prayer. I am giving this testimony from our magazine. We have a magazine, Holy Kuhn. English magazine, Holy Kuhn. This is our, uh, in the local language in India, in, from Kerala. It's our local language, it's a magazine. So this testimony appeared in this magazine in the year of 2015. I am reading it. It is about the healing of uh, coronavirus. Coronavirus in Saudi Arabia and the healing of 40 people. On March 6, 2015, a brother called Baiju, who is a Carolite, called me over the phone from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. He, who belongs to the Patanandita town in Kerala, resides in Riyadh. His wife, Subi, is also working in Riyadh as a nurse in a hospital called Al-Iman. Baiju told me with the tears that his six months pregnant wife was kept under quarantine since she was suspected to be infected with coronavirus and that he was not allowed to go there. A patient who was under his wife's care passed away due to coronavirus infection. A total of 40 staffs that assisted this patient and other patients who died due to coronavirus infection were confined to quarantine. The blood of these people was taken to confirm the infection. Baiju burst into tears and asked me to pray in order to save his wife's life. This disease which was seen in the camels in Saudi Arabia spread across Saudi. Around 500 people were affected of this disease. This disease affects the lungs where the lungs get damaged and the patient soon dies. There is no medication available to cure this disease. I, who understood the severity of this disease, prayed for his wife. After some time, I again received a call from Saudi saying uh, she was Baiju's wife, Subi. And she said she and the 40 of them were kept under quarantine due to suspected infection. I prayed by binding the coronavirus disease and the evil spirits working behind it. The name of Jesus Christ, which has authority and power in heaven, on earth and in hell. In the book of Matthew 16, 19, the Lord Jesus has given us the great the power and authority. He said, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. The power is given to us. If you have the Holy Spirit, you can use the power. You can bind anything. The Lord said, it's a promise that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. So we have the power to bind any disease, any sickness, any calamities, any tsunamis. We have the power, authority to bind any, any coronavirus. If we, if we believe that, it will be done. It's a promise from God, Jesus Christ. So using that power, I said I bind that coronavirus in the name of Jesus Christ that affected the coronavirus that affected these 40 people and should be. I bind it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I believed that when I bind it, it was bound. It was bound. And I know that the Lord heard my prayer. And again, I realized a great power going out I prayed not only for Subi, but also for the 40 of them. I understood that the power of the Lord descended there. I said, 
through the phone fear not nothing will happen the lord will protect you i waited for two days to know the results of the prayer on the third day subi called from saudi and informed that the results of the blood test have come and the 40 of them who received the prayers were not infected they are free the corona virus couldn't touch them after the prayer the lord protected the protect the 40 people hallelujah praise the lord glory to be the lord and also it was for whom i prayed being infected by this same disease there are many kerlaite nurses who are living in, ho- in hospital quarantine not just kerlaites but there are many other nationalities the 40 people whom the lord delivered belong to different countries like india philippines and egypt i pray that may the lord show mercy to saudi arabia and all the patients so it was published the year of 2015 it was published in the year of 2015 it happened in the month of march 6th so five years ago five years ago it happened some people died in saudi arabia through this uh, this, in, this infection of corona virus what i am telling you is that today people are so frightened about this virus in all the all over the world because day after day we are hearing the news that it is spreading everywhere so we do not know what is going to happen as to us that is what people think they are scared of going out they are scared of speaking to uh, others because they think that they will be affected by the disease so many many are under fear but i am telling you my dear sisters and brothers come to the lord jesus christ come to the lord jesus christ believe in the name of jesus christ obey his word why today this 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 is happening the reason is that today people are against god they don't want to love god they don't want to worship god they don't want to believe in god all over the world i am talking about all over the world millions of people are against god they don't believe in god they say that god, there is no god science is everything but you must know one thing that it is god who created this universe it is god who formed me and you your mother's womb and god formed us in his likeness and resemblance it is god who gave us his life through the breath of life he gave us a life he is our father he is our creator but if the devil deceive the people they don't want god they cannot believe in god but they believe in the power of science my sisters and brothers come back to the lord jesus christ he can stop this he can stop this only he can stop this epidemic no one has no medicine you know that day after day many many are dying in different parts of the world other side it is spreading everywhere but the one thing i am telling you there is one god who is alive who can stop this if you believe you come to the lord jesus christ repent about your sins cry to the lord it is only because of the sins of the world these things are happening only because of the sins of the world if you repent if you open your heart and and come to the lord jesus christ he will come and save you he will save your land never do not allow the devil to destroy this universe let us come to the lord jesus christ let us open our heart let us confess our sins to him let us believe in the 
name of Jesus and believe the word of Jesus Christ. Believe the word, obey the word. You will be protected. The Bible, the word given to us through the Bible. Believe the Bible. What is written in the Bible? The word of God. Believe in the word of the word of God. It is for us. It is for our safety and for our salvation given. Read the Bible, obey the word. Allow the word of God to lead you. You will be protected. No devil can touch you. And another thing I want to tell you is that why this disease is spreading everywhere? It is not only the virus. The reason it is not only the because of the virus, the devil is there. The devil is there behind all this. It is the devil actually it is the devil who is spreading this disease everywhere. The evil spirits. Who are the evil spirits? Those people who died in sin and who are not yet saved. Who are the slaves of the devil? They are the evil spirits. We read about the evil spirits in the Bible. In book of Matthew 10.1 Jesus gave us the authority to cast out the evil spirits. And to cast out the evil spirits and to heal the heal every sickness. The power is given to us. So Jesus gave us the authority and power to cast out the evil spirits. So the evil spirits are there. That is why the Lord asked us and he gave us the commandment. He gave us the power to cast out the evil spirits. But in this generation, people are not bothered about this. No, there, is, there are no evil spirits, no demons, nothing. There is no God, there is no demon. So we are free to do anything. That is the uh, thinking of people. We are free to do anything. No, you are wrong. You are not, not free to do anything. You are bound by the law of God. You are bound by the commandments of God. The Ten Commandments. You have to obey that. Whoever you are, you have to obey the word, you have to obey the commandments, you will be protected. Book of Exodus chapter 15 verse 26 we read that he said if you will listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight and give heed to his commandments and keep all his statutes I will not bring upon you any of the diseases that I brought upon the Egyptians for I am the Lord who heals you. It's a promise given to us through Moses. Before giving the Ten Commandments, God gave the first commandment to Moses. This is the first commandment. What is that? If you will listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God, you have to listen very carefully to the voice of the Lord God. I have to listen very carefully his voice. What is his voice? The word of God. The inspirations that you have from your heart. From your spirit. The inspirations to do good. To fight against the evil. You have to listen very carefully the word of the Lord. The voice of the Lord. And do what is right in his sight. Do what is right in the sight of God. You are not permitted to do what is right in your sight. What is, what is pleasing to you? No. You are not allowed to do those things. But you should do only those things which are pleasing to your God. So you have to uh, discern what is good and what is not good. Which is good and which is evil. You have to discern that. And do only good. Do what is right in His sight. The sight of God, you will be blessed. And give heed to his commandments. Give heed to his commandments and keep all his statutes. Obey the commandments, obey the word of God. Obey, the, obey his commandments. And he says that I will not bring upon you any of the diseases that I brought upon the Egyptians. I will not bring upon you any of the diseases that I brought upon the Egyptians. 
So you see, the Egyptians were punished by diseases, many diseases. The Lord says that. If you believe in me, if you keep the word, if you obey the commandments, I will not bring upon you any of the diseases that I brought upon the Egyptians. I will give you the mighty protection. It's a, it's a word, it's a promise from the living God. But it's a sister and brothers. Believe it. Believe the word. Let the word dwell in your heart. Live in your heart. Reside in your heart. Let the word live in you. Obey the word. Let the word to become flesh in your heart. Let Jesus Christ abide in you. He will give you power. He will give you strength to fight against the devil. No decisions will come upon you, upon your family. Be faithful to the Lord. Come back to the Lord. Today people living in sin, many, many uh, uh, laws, rules made by the authorities. Especially the, in many countries, the people, those who live in homosexuality, men and men live together, having their sexual relationship. Women and women live together, having their sexual relationship. Is it, is it, is it, do you think it is from God? No, never. You have no excuse. It is from the devil. It is from the devil. Today, the, 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 the devil is destroying the humanity. Destroying the world through this, his deeds. You must know that. It's a bondage. Those who live like the lesbians, those who live, live, live like that, they are the slaves of sin. See, because of that, today God is punishing this world. No one can stop these diseases. Come back to the repent about your sins. Come back to the Lord. Confess your sins to the Lord. He will come and He will save you. He will protect you. Believe in the name of Jesus and repent, your sin, repent, about, repent about your sins and confess your sins to the Lord. Your sins will be forgiven by your faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. That is the promise. There is nothing impossible. He can stop any, any old calamities, all earthquakes, all tsunamis. Every epidemic you can stop within seconds if you repent. So I request you all, those who hear my, this voice, come back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in His name. Believe the word of God. You and your household will be saved and protected. And remember the departed souls, the ancestors. Millions of souls are in darkness. You don't know where they are, but I am telling you, Billions of souls are in darkness. They are slaves of the devil. The devil is using them. They are the evil spirits. They are causing many, many problems all over the world. They need salvation. But there is no one to remember them. Because of the wrong teachings that we have. That if someone is dead, some many believe that they have gone to heaven. No, never. Some believe that they are in purgatory. Some believe they are in hell. And those who are in hell, they, they cannot come back. Those who are in purgatory, they will be saved at any time. And those who are in hell, there is no need to pray for them. So there is no need for praying for the departed souls. That is a, a wrong conviction. Pray. Pray from your heart. Ask the Lord to forgive the sins of your ancestors. Those who have committed suicide. Those who lived in sin. Those who rejected God. In my experience, I'm, I will tell you, millions, millions of souls are in darkness. They are crying for salvation. There is no one to remember them. Millions of souls are evil spirits. They are evil souls under the devil. The de they are the strongholds of the devil. They are attacking you and your family. Attacking your finance. But if you can pray for them, their sins will be forgiven through your prayer. I promise you that. If you pray the rosary, if you say the rosary, through the rosary prayer, you can save the lost souls. When Mother Mary appeared in Fatima in the year of 1917, she showed the children the hell, 
the souls in the hell the souls in the fire mother mary showed them the children she showed the hell and the souls there and mother mary said like this the souls of the poor sinners you are seeing the souls of the poor sinners who are in hell and she said pray for them to save them to save them from the slavery of the devil pray for them say the rosary say the rosary they will be saved so promise given through mother mary the reason is that the final judgment will come only after the second coming of jesus christ the final judgment it happens only after the uh, second coming of jesus christ so many souls are in hell now millions of souls are in hell that be tortured by the devil they crying there is no one to remember them but i promise you through mother mary they can be saved because the power is given to mother mary to save the lost souls she is the woman came from heaven sent by god to crush the head of the devil which he promised in the book of genesis 3:15 and eve said the devil deceived me god said i will create enmity between the woman and you the devil and he said she will crush your head she the woman will crush your head that is a promise given by the living god and mother mary is that woman she came to destroy the power of the ancient serpent the devil so if you say the rosary if you can say the rosary through rosary you will get the protection of mother mary at the same time if you offer your rosary for the low souls mother mary will receive your prayers the roses the rosary and it will help her to save the low souls who are in darkness who are in fire in hell say the rosary in such a way let us stop the deeds of the devil let us prevent the works of the devil the lord jesus has come to destroy the works of the devil so let us be with the lord obey the word love him from your heart say the rosary you will have the mighty protection we can destroy the power of the corona virus for any diseases amen and god bless you all i'm praying father in heaven pour out your spirit the holy spirit upon everyone those who watch this video touch them oh lord how may she on them oh lord how may she on all the departed souls of their families those who are bound by the devil because when they were when they were in the, on this earth they lived in sin by rejecting the word of god and the commandments of god and they were deceived by the devil now millions of souls are slaves of the devil asking for your mercy o lord how mercy you on them redeem them from the slavery of the devil by the blood of jesus christ the blood that our lord jesus christ shed on the cross 2000 years ago redeem them o lord forgive them send out your word and forgive them deliver them amen hallelujah make them free forgive them and make them free o lord pray for all the souls especially today those who are behind the corona virus may the power of the lord descend upon that evil souls may the fire of the lord descend upon them and bind them may the power of the holy spirit give the grace to the living ones to repent about their sins to cry to the lord May the Lord forgive their sins and save them. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we praise and thank you, Lord. Praise and thank you. Hallelujah. Worship you. We adore you. Glorify you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise and thank you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless your family. May the Lord bless your family members. May the Lord give you the mighty protection through your prayers. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. 
Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Bless you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.